Hello everyone and welcome back to Tea Time Crochet. Today we're going to be making this hanging hat organizer. So um, we're going to crochet this long strand and then we're going to attach these um, shower curtain rings and that's what holds this the This is hat. the one that's in my daughter's bedroom. Um, between the two of them they have a lot of hats. And it's a different variety of hats. There's crochet hats. There's um, my middle daughter even has her baseball caps on here. And then, of course, Devin, my youngest, is even hanging in her belts. Um, so I'll get to the tutorial. Okay, so and the things that you're going to need for this project is just some scrap yarn. Um, it's not going to take a whole lot. <clears throat> so just any scrap yarn you got sitting around will work. Um, this is just some old Red Heart Super Saber. It's worsted weight. Um, so you'll need that. It doesn't have to be worsted weight. It could be um, a thicker yarn. I would probably not go with a thinner yarn strictly because it's going to have weight on it and you don't want the yarn to break. So um, I wouldn't go anything less than a worsted. You could go a, you know, to a bulky or super, super bulky if you wanted. Um, it didn't matter just as long as you use the coordinating hook with it. Um, so for a worsted weight it calls for a 5.5 millimeter hook so that's what I have. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle with a large eye. Um, you may want to measure your hat hanger um, I'm just going to basically go off uh, what I think is the link that it needs to be. As long as it's a multiple of two, um, you'll be fine. But you may want to measure it. It's up to you. Uh, you do want to keep in mind that crochet stretches a lot. So um, you want to factor that into your length. You probably want to go a foot maybe two feet shorter than what you think that you need it to be because it stretches quite a bit. The first one that I had made for my daughter's room I did not even think about it stretching and I made it too long and it actually stretched all the way to the floor. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, the next thing that you're going to need are these um, shower curtain hooks you know they're the little rod things that or the little hook things that hook through your shower curtain and around the shower rod um, I got these at Walmart for 94 cents you'll probably need um, depending on how many hats you have that you'll be able to count your hats and know how many hooks you need so and you'll also want to factor in the length of your project into how many hats you need, whether you need to um, have more or less holes. So if you don't have, you know, that many hats, then you won't need to make it as long. But you'll need to pick up a couple packages of these, to, like I said, depending on how many hats you have. I'm a crocheter, so I have a ton of hats. Um, I will probably have to make two of these hat hangers just to hold to hold all the hats that I have. Um, but like I said, Walmart has these very cheap. You can find them at the dollar store. Um, it, pretty much any place that sells bath supplies will have it. They're usually fairly cheap and they come in different colors. I just wanted the clear. Okay, to get started, we're just gonna make a slip knot. And our chain is going to be a multiple of two. So you want to chain um, however long that you need it to be. So for each multiple of two is going to count for one hat. So if you have, so you um, want to um, just start chaining. I always just go one, two, one, two, one, two, one. 
too. And I'll keep doing that until I get the length that I need. So remember, for every set of two counts for one hat. So you'll just need to figure out the number of chains you need for the amount that you of hats you have. So if you want to just continue on doing that and I will meet up with you when I get my total amount. Okay, I have my number of chains. So from here, we're just going to put one double crochet in each one of these stitches. So we're going to start off by um, double crocheting in the third chain from the hook. So this is one, two, and three. And that is going to count as our first double crochet. Oops. So the this the chain two right here is going to count as our first double crochet. And then we're just going to double crochet in each stitch across. And I'm just going to continue doing that all the way down my chain and then I will meet up with you at the end. Okay, I've made it all the way back to the other end. Um, so here we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And that's going to count as our double crochet and a chain one. So we're going to skip the next space and double crochet into the next. chain one, skip the next space, and crochet, double crochet into the next, chain one, skip the next space, and double crochet into the next, chain one, skip, and double crochet into the next, and we are going to repeat this all the way to the end. So you have your chain three, which counts as a double crochet chain one. You're going to skip a space and into the next space you're going to do a double crochet chain one, skip a space, into the next stitch you're going to do a double crochet chain one, and you're going to just continue that all the way down until you get to the end. So when I completed all of mine, I'll meet back up with you. Okay, I've completed that row, so this is what it should look like now. You should have all these little spaces. And then for the next row, get myself untangled, um, we're just going to double crochet into every stitch. So we're gonna chain two, and then we're just going to double crochet around this uh, chain one space right here. So just like that, and then we're going to double crochet into the top of this stitch. And then around the chain one space. And then in the top of the double crochet, and then around the chain one, and we're just going to complete, continue doing that until we get to the other end. So basically what we're doing is we're just filling in the chain one spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I will meet up with you at the end. Okay, I wanted to show this last stitch. This is the chain um, three. So that counted as our double crochet and a chain one. So we're just going to go around that. And then we're going to double crochet into the second chain right here. Didn't want to confuse anybody right there. So you can tell if you've done it right because it's nice and flat. So that 
is pretty much it. We're, the next thing we're going to do is add a handle, um, or a hanger, not a handle. We're going to add a, a hanger for it, but the first thing you need to figure out is um, how you're going to hang it. Um, mine is going to be hanging up like this, so it's going to be going down. You could hang it sideways if you wanted. Um, it's totally up to you. The only thing that you would have to do is if you're going to hang it sideways, you would have to add a hanger at both ends. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick and it is super simple. It's just a chain stitch. So we're just going to chain five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to attach it over here with a slip stitch. And then I'm going to fasten off. Pull that through. Um, you don't want the hanger to be too loose because it's going to stretch. So um, I wouldn't go any more than five. You could even do four and that would be just fine. But the more it stretches, the weaker it's going to become, so we don't want to do that. We just want it to chain enough to span um, the distance between the two corners. So if you're going to have it hanging sideways, you'll need to do this to the other end. So you'll have to attach your yarn in one of the corners, and then chain five, and then attach over here with a slip stitch, and then fasten off. And then the, the last thing that you'll do is just hide all your ends and um, so this is what they look like when they're out. Um, they just have this little oops, this little groove right here and this slides right in and it just pops down. So what you're going to do is you're just going to all these um, chain or these pieces that we have right here this is just going to slide over that just like that and then you're going to hook your hat through it um, if you have like anything that's not crocheted that doesn't or is not very holy um, you're going to have to like sew on a little piece of ribbon or um, I'm not sure if you'd want to hot glue it, but you'd, you'd have to attach some sort of little hanger on the inside of the hat to be able to loop over. Uh, I wish I had a hat out here. I don't. Well. So this is just Sierra's hippo hat. So all you do is you just you want to open this up and then slide it through one of the holes and then attach it so that way it will sit there and hang and it's not going to damage it in any way as long as you're careful that you don't snag the threads Um, this one seems to be a little sharp, but that's all you got to do. It's a super simple um, tutorial, and it is a really nice fix to a problem that I've been having. Um, our new house is much smaller, and and our old house, I um, actually had a dresser drawer that I had I kept all my hats in. But our bedroom is too small here, so I don't have that dresser. I actually have it out here in the craft room um, with other stuff in it. So I have to find, I had to figure out a new way to to put away all of my hats that I have because I don't have any space in the bedroom. So the best way to use, you know, when you don't have any space is to use the vertical space. 
So um, that's what I came up with this for. Um, it has actually worked out really well for my girls because my middle daughter, she's a hat collector. Um, she has tons of hats just by herself. And then my, my youngest daughter, they share a room, so they have a ton of hats between the two of them that needed to be hung up. And I managed to get almost all of their hats on the other hat hanger that I had made. And, um, they'll, I, st we still have space. I just have to have, I just have to put some loops on hats that don't have the spaces in between to hang them from. But it's, you know, a really easy way to help organize things. So I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.